Hello and welcome. Let's talk about compound fracture or also known as open fracture. So what does it mean by compound fracture? If a fracture communicates with the exterior, it is called compound fracture. Now this is a picture showing open fracture also known as compound fracture where the bone has protruded and is in contact with the environment. Now classification of open or compound fracture type 1 the fracture is not communicated the wound is usually small clean punctured through with a bony spike protrusion there is little soft tissue damage with no crossing type 2 the wound is not more than one centimeter long but there is no skin flap there is not much soft tissue damage and no more than moderate crossing or combination of the fracture also a low to moderate energy fracture now type 3 fracture there is a large restoration extensive damage to skin and underlying soft tissue and in the most severe examples vascular compromise the injury is caused by high energy transfer to the bone and soft tissues contamination can be significant it is further classified into three subtypes type 3a the fractured bone can be adequately covered by soft tissue despite the laceration and fracture pattern type 3b there is extensive periosteal stripping and fracture cover is not possible without use of the local or distant flaps type 3c there is an arterial injury that needs to be repaired regardless of the amount of other soft tissue damage now this is a picture showing the type of the open or compound fracture type 1 type 2 type 3a type 3b and type 3c now management of the compound fracture management should be done methodically as follows removal of all dirty clothing through examination of the patient including pulse bp and temperature opening of an intravenous line and blood is sent for grouping and cross matching administration of iv fluid infusion and blood transfusion parental antibiotics will be started and covering of the wound with clean girths cotton and bandage and application of the pressure bandage in case of bleeding wood and avoiding tourniquet like plaster and tetanus prophylaxis with injection of the tetanus immunoglobulin should be given intramuscularly and prophylaxis against gas, gas gangrene with injection of the anti gangrene serum about 10 to about 10,000 units should be given and preparing the patient for general anesthesia and taking the patient to operation theaters can be done now operative management surgical toileting should be done in which wound is thoroughly washed with normal saline or hydrogen peroxide debridement all devitalized tissues and dirty materials should be cleaned reduction and if necessary internal fixation of the fracture should be done and repairment of the injured soft tissue muscles should be done as well as the tendon bezels and knobs should be identified and necessary steps should be taken close of the wound without tension or wound should be kept open and apply the sterile dressing and external immobilization like plaster now now what are the complications of the compounder open fracture Hemorrhage and shock which may lead to death, wound infection and sepsis, septicemia and pyemia, tetanus, gangrene, chronic osteomyelitis, non-union, malunion and delayed union and joint stiffness. End of the topic.